All right, we are live. Hello, Hello everybody. Welcome. I know we are a minute early, but we thought we would jump on and hopefully start to see people join. Um, and we're not going to start probably for a few minutes yet, but we're going to see if we can get some people to join. All right. I start seeing the numbers. Brittany, I'm going to. Oh, good. All right. As you guys are joining, please drop a hello in where you're from in the comments. And that's going to be important because that's how we're going to do the drawings tonight. So make sure you comment with a hello or a hi so we can see you. I love it. We're up to 18 already. That's fantastic. Right. And we're at the top of the hour. You guys are on time. That's fantastic. Oh, from Michigan, from Georgia, California. And we have a lot, a lot of users. So if they want to be in the drawing, they're going to need to put their name in the drawing. Yes. Yes. And oh, I and think a link. you guys should see at the top, there's a link to join uh, StreamYard so that your name pops up and it doesn't show as face Facebook user. So if you can do that or just drop your name as you're saying hello. Yes. Yeah, so um, for those, thank you. So I just saw Amy from Ohio if, in the comments. If you could do that, that is super helpful. Then we see your name and we know who you are. So that would be really, really helpful. Put your name and where you're from inside of the comments. Otherwise, on our side, since we're joining from StreamYard so that we can do live, it just says Facebook user. So either click at the link above so that we can see your name or else um, in the comments, comment your name and where you're from. So thank you, Tanya. And uh, let's see, Sierra, Molly, Tina. That's fantastic. Amy, wonderful. Denise, Brian, wonderful. Wow, look at all these people. How many are awesome. we up to, Miranda? 35, 35. That's 35. great. 35. All right. For those that are just joining, please make sure you either click the StreamYard button above so we can see your name or when you comment hello and where you're from, please add your name. So that way we get you into our drawings that we're going to do tonight. All right, we'll give it just a couple more minutes here because we still have people joining. Again, be sure well, you're dropping your name in the comments when you say hello so that you get added to our drawings. See so excited to hear how everybody loves the food and to share a whole bunch of information. And yes, Jamie, I just don't understand why Streamier doesn't like you, but you're right. It, it never really <laughs> likes you, Jamie, does it? <laughs> That's fine, Rebecca. Thank you for joining. Yes, Gina, thanks for dropping your name. Jackie, wonderful. Okay, so once Sarah, again, sorry, we're on repeat. Um, throw your name in the comments. Oh, I see. Oh, good. Michelle, thank you. You must have clicked the link. I see your name. It doesn't say Facebook user. Thanks, Michelle. Perfect. Indeed. Wonderful. Rebecca, if you don't see That's a link. That's okay if you guys don't see the link. Yep. Just drop your name and a hello in the chat so we can make sure we get you in our drawings. Hi, Sue. Hi, Amy. Eloisa. Hello. All right. How many how many are we up to, Miranda? 40. 40. So 40 I think people. That's uh, amazing. Wait to I know. Let's wait until for two more minutes. Absolutely. Maria's on. Tammy. Michelle. Hello. Hi, Paula. Sherry. All right. Last so awesome. reminder, make sure you drop your name in the chat with a hello so we can get you into our drawings. Hi, Bill from New York. Okay, Brittany, I don't think our user that just asked about the samples, we're going to get to that. So just hang tight to those samples. <laughs> there goes my dog. <laughs> She's excited for the samples. <laughs> um, I we just gone up by one in the past couple or 30 seconds. So I think we can probably get started here in another 60 seconds or so. Brittany's going to kick okay. us off. 
Um, so awesome. I see Caitlin. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> you know it's a dog event when there's dogs barking <laughs> from the hosts. I mean, it is what it is, guys. So, <laughs> okay. So, all right. How about we go ahead and get started? Let's do it. All right. So, first, we want to welcome you all. This is our first time doing an event like this. And so, we're so excited to have you join us. Um, our online study this month is going to be around the food that Pottery offers. So, each of you have been invited by a pet pro. And so we're so excited to have you all here so we can tell you all about the food and you should have a sample. I know some of you may not have a sample and that's okay. You can still listen to all of the information and join us for the giveaways and you'll learn so much either way. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to kick us off, we wanted to do a surprise for those of you that are in your seats on time and ready to start. So we are going to spin a wheel of names and we're gonna give away a Pottery gift card for $25. So Krista, I'm gonna turn it over to you to spin the wheel. I am spinning. I've got my names entered and I'm going to click to spin. Ooh, makes a good noise. I <clears throat> spinning. It's a little slow. I hear the noise. That's fine. I know. I'm like, pick one. So it's Bran Furman. Bran Furman. Bran Furman is our winner. Yay! Right. My guest. Woo! All right. Congratulations. Whoever is the pet pro that invited you, Bran, we'll make sure we Me. get with them so that we can get you that <laughs> gift card. That's me, really. That's my guest. <laughs> Oh, that's you. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hi, Annie. <laughs> yep. Hello. Hello. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in, Miranda. All right. So as we mentioned, our study this month is going to be all around food. And so maybe you know, maybe you don't, but food is going to be the foundation of your pet's health very similar to it, how it is with humans. So there are two key factors that we like to talk about that um, help your pet's um, quality of life. And that is genetics and nutrition. Obviously we cannot control genetics, but we can control nutrition. So just like with us, nutrients are what fuel our body. And we wanna make sure that we're getting the proper nutrition, uh, proper nutrients, sorry, and the proper amount just uh, and make sure we're not just filling it with unwanted calories or unwanted fillers. It's the same for our pets. Sorry, the slide's a little slow. <laughs> All right, so there are a few things that we wanna tell you about the dog food industry. And these may be some things that you've heard or this may be your first time hearing about them. So you may have seen, especially after COVID, there were some increases in the cost of food and transportation, and maybe the cost of your dog food went up. And there are three ways that we want to share with you about how the pet food companies deal with this increase. So number one, you may notice that they reduce the size of the bag or the food that's inside the bag is not as much as what was in there before but they're keeping it at the same price. So ultimately you're getting less, but paying the same amount. Another option that pet, pet food companies may do is they may swap out the ingredients for cheaper or inferior ingredients because they need to get a price break. So that quality of your pet's food is going to be much lower. And unfortunately our pets are the ones that suffer from that. And then the third option that they have is to keep the bag size and the quality the same, but they're going to increase the price. So take a second and just think about your pet food and if you've noticed any of these things. What's interesting, 
And what a lot of people may not know is that these companies are not required to tell us when they lower the quality or change the ingredients or reduce the size of the bag. So I've seen a lot of comments from people saying they can't find their food anymore or they are noticing issues in their pets that they've never seen before or they're noticing that price increase. So it's important that you pay attention to those things. And if you are noticing a difference in your pet, it's likely because the pet food companies are making those changes. So here are some key things that you can observe and you want to watch over a period of about two to three months because the cells, they have to regenerate. And so it takes a little time for these to show up. But what we're noticing is that dogs are losing their appetite all of a sudden. They're having digestive changes like loose stools or gas when they weren't having that before. They may have behavioral changes like losing energy. You may notice that their coat is less shiny and dull and soft. And this could all be because one ingredient changed in their food. But here's the bad part. Whoops. Was there a missed slide in there? Or maybe I went ahead. <laughs> I probably went ahead. Yeah, you, this is the good part. Say, yeah, the good part. This is the good part. <laughs> so we'll get to the bad part. <laughs> So with Pottery, we have what's called the Pottery Promise. And some of you may have heard of this before. But what Pottery always promises with their food is that they are going to have real meat, poultry, or fish as that very first ingredient. It's not going to be the second ingredient. It's not going to be way down in the list. It's always going to be right at the very beginning. We're not going to have any corn, wheat, or soy in our food. No artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Everything is made in the U.S. and it's developed by licensed veterinarians and animal nutritionists. Now on the screen, as these 20 reasons, I'm not going to go through all of them, but as they populate, go ahead and read through these because what's interesting here to note is that Pottery has these 20 claims that they can make about their food. And while some companies can make some of these claims, there is no other company out there on the market that can make all 20. And just to read a few of these, we do have customized nutrition plans, natural and holistic recipes. As I mentioned, we have that real meat or fish or poultry is that very first ingredient. We do have um, a natural source of DHA to promote healthy uh, brain activity. Everything's made in the U.S. I'm just skimming through some of these. And on the side of what we don't have again is no poultry byproducts, no corn, wheat, or soy, no artificial colors or flavorings. And so it really makes a difference. And so I just want to say again, Pottery is the only company that can make all 20 of these claims, while others can make only some of them. This is one of my favorite slides because this really shows a little bit more about how nutrient dense the pottery food is. And what that means is that the digestibility rate for your dogs as they eat is much higher. You can see at an 87% and some even tested as high as a 93% for that digestibility rate. And that means that they're going to eat less and you're going to have less stool. So you can see in the picture over here, the 36 ounce, the 24 ounce, and the 12 ounce. The 12 ounce is the paw tree. So you can see how much less you're actually having to feed of that food. And a few other things to note that a lot of people are always curious about. We are AAFCO and WASAVA compliant. We do follow the HACCP plan. And when you have healthier dogs, you have less vet bills. So that's pretty amazing. One other thing that I like to share at this slide is that there's less poop. I know that my kids certainly love to pick up less poop with our food than they used to. And, um, you know, just for a comparison, I also like to share that I used to go through between um, 30 and 40 pounds of dog food a month. And now I'm at 20 pounds of dog food a month. So I 
almost cut my the amount of food that I buy in half. And there's less poop. We all want less poop. <laughs> so that's one of the most, most fun things about this amazing digestibility rate that we have. Yeah. All right. We're going to do a quick gift card drawing again. So if everyone has their name in the chat, we're going to do another Wheel of Names spin. Krista. Krista, you ready? Here we go. Oh, and I'm starting to see names. I see Laura and Tanya. It's awesome. Aaliyah, welcome. <clears throat> okay. We have a winner. Bill from New York is our All winner. Right. Bill from Yay, New York. Bill. Awesome. Congratulations, Congratulations, Bill. Our second winner. And that picks I'm seeing up a lot of woohoos about the less poop. I know, right? That's the best part. We all want <laughs> it less is the poop. Best part. I agree. Okay, so this is picks up where I'm going to jump in. Um, I uh, am actually um, have taken a lot of pet nutrition classes, and I feel very passionately that uh, food can actually be medicine. Um, and there, there is a, a teaching around traditional Chinese medicine that talks about disharmony within the body um, and how foods are, have temperatures. You can have a warmth, a cool type of temperature based on um, the food that you are actually feeding your dog. And when you have that, it's actually creating a condition of wind. No, not gas, but wind inside the body. And that can cause itchy skin, irritable skin. It can cause allergies. It can actually increase inflammation depending on the temperature of the food that you are actually feeding. So something that um, I like to say, even for humans and for dogs, you are what you eat. Just like humans, we're always told, what are you doing an anti-inflammatory diet right now? And if we're looking at those foods that are in an anti-inflammatory diet, a lot of them are your typical cooling proteins and your cooling ingredients because that temperature of those foods are actually going to reduce inflammation on in your body. So I'd like to share with you a little bit um, about what foods are warm and hot and cool and neutral and how that might help your pet. The first uh, section is actually going to be the cooling. So um, things that if your dog has allergies or a health condition, if your dog is getting up there in years, um, so seven or older, if your dog has joint problems, skin problems, um, always with an allergy problem, you really want to lean more towards that cooling protein. So cooling proteins are going to be a white fish, a cod, a duck, and, or a rabbit. And your most common kibble, if you are a kibble feeder, is going to be a white fish or a duck. Um, and you, if you requested samples from us, you actually received or could have received a, either a white fish or a duck. My dogs actually eat the white fish. I think the white fish is an amazing protein and an amazing food. Um, and I have been, I have been able to see a lot of my own customers, uh, resolve a lot of their health concerns for their pets just by switching foods. When um, you are feeding a cooling food, you're actually going to reduce the inflammation throughout their body. If you add in a hot protein, you're going to increase the inflammation inside of their body. So let's show you some of those cold or cooling foods for dogs, um, separated out by meats or grains or beans, veggies, fruits, and some others. Like I said, you received a duck or a whitefish sample, depending on what you ordered. Rabbit is also pretty common for food. Um, I actually, if, if I have a, a customer of mine that has an extreme allergy, one of the things I'll actually suggest them to do is go to the butcher and get some cod and, and uh, um, broil it or, or boil it so that it's um, cooked and it's straight cod because it's cooling. Um, so instead of, you know, how your vet might say, hey, just make chicken and rice, I'll do cod and brown rice because we'll see that brown rice is cooling and cod is cooling. So it's a great way to reduce that overall inflammation in them. Then you see some other things like um, uh, oyster and yogurt is in there as well. 
Um, you'll see kelp. Kelp is amazing for our dogs. Not only is it cooling, but it's actually also um, really, really great for their skin too. We have warming and hot foods. So generally speaking, unless your dog is healthy and maybe a year old, two, three years old, never had a health condition, never had allergies, doesn't have any joint problems, any stomach problems, then any of these foods are okay. But if they have any of those, then you probably want to stay away from any of these foods. And you can see that a lot of these are your most common foods that are in the pet market. So what do you see when you go to the pet store? You see chicken food, you see lamb food, you see salmon food, maybe trout, but um, I highlighted those because Paw Tree actually has those foods as well. And they're perfectly fine. And some of you had salmon on your list. Salmon is fine as long as your pet doesn't have any health problems whatsoever. But if your pet does have health problems, lean towards the cooling, the white fish or the duck. And then we also have neutral foods. So neutral foods are good um, also with uh, anybody that doesn't have any health concerns. I like turkey because turkey actually kind of leans towards cooling. So if I have a, a pet that has a lot of allergies um, and we are just looking for a food and the only thing out there is, is turkey, then I will go with the turkey. Um, but uh, neutral is kind of like, it's not going to help, but it's not going to hurt either. One of those things. So uh, that's very common and typical for neutral foods that you'll see here. I'd love to see in the comments if um, any, but any of you knew that about the foods and the temperatures. And while you're thinking about that and putting it into the comments, now we are finally up to the part where you get to feed the food to your dogs if you haven't already. So go ahead and grab we're getting a your lot samples. of comments. A lot of comments, Miranda, about saying great info, didn't know that, um, had no idea, love the info. Oh, that's so I think awesome. That's, good. That's, that's good. I'm so glad that we were able to share that. Good. And hopefully then that will at least help you guys switch from a warm or a hot protein over to a cooling protein. Okay. Okay. So go get your samples. We're going to cover some dog food recipes that we have here at Paw Tree. And we are going to see how it goes with you guys feeding your dog. So I'm just going to take a break here real quick. We've given away some uh, gift cards and we've talked about some things around cooling and warming proteins. Um, and we're able to share the cooling food. Yes. And you know what? While you guys go get the, and I'm not sure I see Facebook users. So on my side, so uh, whoever that is, if you could get with your pet pro um, that invited you and they will get with uh, me um, and I will be more than happy to share that, that specific image for you. Okay. Whoever asked that question. Okay. So if you have your samples, the very first one that we're going to cover is the white fish. So for those of you that have the white fish food, Go ahead and throw into the chat that you got the whitefish food. I want to see who's on that um, got that. And let's have you guys try it out. Let's see if your dogs like it. And some of and you well, may have already tried the sample with your dog, and that's absolutely okay. Or you may be concerned about, is it okay to try the sample with your dog because you're not doing a transition? But just keep in mind, this is such a small amount. We just want them to taste it see what they do with it, if they like it, um, go crazy for it. Maybe they don't like it. So giving them just a little bit, a couple handfuls is not going to hurt them. Right. And you don't want to obviously give them the entire bag right now. So um, most of you should have received a transition um, a guide inside of there. Um, so, you know, just give them a little bit, uh, a handful or so, and give them a try and let's see. Do they like I see it? A couple Facebook users that said they got the white fish. I can't see their names. I got one that says they love it. Another says all five love it. And three of the cats were interested and wanted some. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Okay, so about the white fish, this um, has a lower side of protein. It's only 24%. So we're going to cover the protein levels across all the bags as well. Um, and But it's also a really, really great food. It is a cooling protein. Uh, and it is uh, brown rice, which means it's a healthy grain recipe. So not only is the white fish cooling, but so is the brown rice. It's overall just absolutely fantastic. So those that have the white fish, I think we are going to move on to the next one here. Um, and the next sample that we sent out was the salmon. So those that got the salmon, throw into the chat and let us know that you got the salmon. And uh, let us, and go ahead and try it. Let, let us know if they like it. On this one, this is a very high protein one. This is 30%. It's a warming protein. So it's not hot, but it's not neutral and it's not cool. Um, salmon a lot of times can be considered good for the skin and the coat. However, if I have a dog that feels like they need some uh, omegas in their diet, what I will usually suggest is the white fish recipe and adding on some salmon oil instead. Um, I actually am feeding the salmon food to my puppy right now because it is a high protein percentage. So this is really good for puppies. It's good for um, breeds that are need that extra uh, energy from the high protein. So if you have working dogs, this would be really good for them as well. Um, but uh, if they're not working dogs and if they're not puppies, um, I would I, I mean, if it were me personally, I would switch them over to the white fish. So those that got salmon, how'd it go? Do they like it? Okay. The next sample that we sent out is duck. And uh, throw into the chat if you got duck. Oh, I see some tails wagging. This <laughs> is another high protein one. This is 28%. Another great one for... Um, uh, dogs that are uh, have allergies or health conditions because this is a cooling protein. Um, <laughs> less energy. <laughs> we have we have chillax for that, Denise. <laughs> um, so duck is another really great one for uh, allergies as well. Um, but the chickpeas is actually not a cooling component to it. So if you have a dog that has a lot of health problems, and allergies, I still, my first choice is the white fish. Um, okay, so I saw someone got the duck but have not tried it yet. If your dog is there in front of you, let's try it. Let's, let's see how it, how it goes. Not so much for Shelly. That's okay. It's not the favorite in my house either. But the white fish is, they walked away from it. Okay, that's okay. Dogs love the duck, so do the cats. That's Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's awesome. My cats actually like the duck as well. Oh, waiting for the mail, that darn mail. Okay. Well, we'll you'll have to see. We'll let you know how you can uh, circle back around with us and let us know. Okay. Trying to eat the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good that's indication. A <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay. So now we're just going to run through some of the other recipes. Um, and maybe, you know, the white fish or the salmon or the duck isn't your favorite. And that's okay, because we have a lot of other recipes that you could try out. So we have a chicken and oatmeal recipe. This one is a 28% protein. This is really, really great for puppies. A lot of our breeders and our rescues actually use this one um, as just a standard uh, food um, there's nothing wrong with chicken if your dog is healthy. So don't don't run away from chicken if you have a very healthy dog. Um, but this is a really great starter food as well. We have, um, oh man, I'm loading. Hold on. It's loading. Oh no, I clicked the link. Hold on, I'm going to stop sharing for a second. Let's get that back. All what right, happened? let's read some more comments while we wait for that. Yes. So another couple comments that they love the duck. Storm beelined for Tyson's duck. <laughs> um, loves both fish samples. That's great. Tammy, 
feeding my pup the chicken and oatmeal. It's a hit. That's awesome. And your puppy is so my, cute. My favorite was the one that got the salmon and they picked it out over their regular food when they did the 80, 20 percent, 80 to 20 percent. Oh, my goodness. I missed that one. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Okay. So our next one is chicken and sweet potato. This is another very high protein one. Great for working dogs, 32%. Um, as you can see. So this is another really great one for healthy dogs and at a high uh, protein, but it is wormy. Uh, our next one is lamb and chickpeas and lentils. This is a hot protein. Lamb is very, very hot. So not one that I usually recommend, um, but it is a high protein one at 30%. So if you do have a working dog, um, by chance a dog that's outside in the cold temperatures a lot, this would actually be a very good um, uh, choice. Uh, our next one is turkey and brown rice. I really like this one as well. Turkey is neutral, but brown rice is cooling. So this is a good one for dogs that do have uh, health conditions or allergies. This is a lower protein as well, 22%, um, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with that either. Okay, um, chicken and brown rice. We added chicken and oatmeal. Now this one is a chicken and brown rice. And we learned earlier that your brown rice is cooling. So you're kind of combining a warming protein with a cooling um, brown rice in here. This is a higher per, uh, protein percentage as well, the 30%, which is a good high protein for our dogs. Um, Brian, I and, you know, answer one quick question in the chat. Yeah. There was a question about a dog that gets kidney and bladder stones. And mm -hmm. so the vet has them on Hills um, CD. And so do you want to just share about the cooling protein? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And fish. So um, white fish definitely would be good. However, our foods are not a prescription diet. So the very first thing that I want to share is that um, since our foods are not a prescription diet, we can't give medical advice. This is a wellness diet plan. However, many of us um, that are feeding pottery food have transitioned from a prescription diet over to a wellness diet. It is potentially possible. Um, it is just something that you would uh, need to make a personal decision about and also uh, up to your discretion, consult your veterinarian as well. But if you do that, um, you definitely want to suggest that cooling white fish protein because you want to reduce the inflammation inside of their body. There's also some additional supplements that we likely would suggest you to look at. GastroPro to help digest all the food, um, bladder support to help support that bladder, and potentially even some paw pairings, which is seasoning. It's raw and freeze dried, and it's just going to add some extra nutrition and nutrients inside of their body as well. So, but all of that is um, something that a, a pet pro, you know, the, the four of us, oh, Krista fell off for some reason. Let's get her back on here. I don't know why she fell off, but there she is. Um, the four of us and, and the person that invited you, our pet pros, are able to work through that with you. Uh, we have an amazing team here and we're always helping each other out and working through challenges like that. And we would be more than happy to discuss that with you. Um, our you. next, yeah, absolutely. It was a good question. Our next um, uh, food is trout and barley, and this is a hot protein. Uh, it is a lower protein percentage as well at 22%. This is actually not a food that I suggest to my customers very often, um, but some people uh, love it. And, you know, trout is not a smelly fish, um, so it's a good option, but not my first personal choice. Uh, but it is um, really good for those overweight dogs because uh, it has a lower protein. Okay, and there's another trout one, and this one has a higher protein at 28%, but again, you have a hot protein. Turkey and garbanzo beans, I like this one as well because it's neutral um, for a protein perspective, and it has 28%, so it's on a higher protein uh, percentage as well. I don't remember where I stop here. Turkey and sweet potato is our next one. Neutral um, and a high protein percentage of 30%. 
that our last one? Yep, that is our last one. Okay, so let's pause there and see if there's any other questions. Um, and then Brittany's going to cover some of our testimonials. But any questions about all those food recipes? I see a lot of questions in the chat about wanting um, to get this information. So again, get with the pet pro that invited you. And if there's a certain part of what we've talked about, like the cooling proteins versus the warm versus the hot, we'll get that information to you. So just uh, reach out to the person who invited you for that. And if you're on the team, if you're a pet pro already and you have questions, um, reach out to any one of us and uh, we will be more than happy to help let our make sure that you fully understand as well. And I see a lot of cats coming up in the chat too. We do have a separate line of food for cats. So uh, your pet pro can also share those with you. Um, so it is not the same as the dog, even though I see a lot of them saying the cats are wanting to try the food and that's okay. Uh, but we do have um, special food for the cats as well. All right, let's go into a few of um, the customer testimonials that we have about our food. So you'll see this first one here. Shy has for, for the past three years liked junk dog food, the stuff that I'm sure is bad for her, but that's all she would eat. So happy to have come across real turkey and sweet potato. This customized nutrition has done the trick. As you can see in the picture, it's lip smacking good. <laughs> Thanks to Gloria for introducing me to Pod Tree. And that is such a cute picture of her licking her. Such eyes. a cute picture. I love it. I love it. Oh, look All at that. All right, those here's eyes. another one from Rebecca. She has two dogs that were having to eat two different foods, um, both for different reasons. And then she was introduced to Pod Tree, which was the best decision she could have made. And now they are both on the trout and barley and doing well. That's fantastic. And I see that happening a lot where you may have dogs oh, and, um, at one. home that are on different foods, but they come over to Pottery and they can eat the same food. So that's fantastic. Yeah. And I think then we're just up to what's next. So um, I think before we go on to what's happening next, I would just love some uh, feedback in the comments on how you thought it went tonight. This was our very first time doing this, you guys. So before we tell you what happens next, how did you think this went? Did we um, did we cover what you wanted us to cover? Did your dogs like the food, not like the food? Did the sample size good? Did you find did you the information us? valuable? Give us the feedback Great in info. the comments. Good. Good info on a scale of 1 to 10. If you want to tell us if on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being great. I'm getting great info. I love it. Daisy's looking at me like, why can't I have more? <laughs> very helpful. Very good. Interesting. Very informative. My dogs love the food. Tammy gave it a 10. Sherry gave it a 10, yeah. 10, 10. <laughs> Woo, we got a 30. Nice. An eight. That's Someone said I'll reach out to my thank pet you. pro for more information. That's great. Love the info. Lots of things I've never heard before. Looking forward to getting uh, your sample you tomorrow. Needed. That's great. Good. 10 plus. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So next right. steps. Next um, next? There is going to be a survey that you will get. I'm going to post it in the group and also send out an email to give us feedback on the event and on the food. Um, and everybody that fills out the survey will be entered in to win another $25 gift card because we just like to give gift Ooh. cards away. Um, and then... <laughs> If you do place an order, uh, you will be entered in to win yet another $25 gift card. So we have given away a 25, a 10, and now there's two more $25 gift cards um, up for grabs. Uh, but the first one will be with the survey and the second one will be if you do place an order. If you do place an order, please make sure that you're placing it with a pet pro that did invite you so that they get credit for the sale. Um, and I also want to invite and encourage you to watch for next month's product of the month. It's actually going to be our, I'm going to share here, see if my screen will show up, our uh, wild Alaskan salmon and pollock oil. And we are going oh, I love to this spend, one. I know I do too. I have bottles lined up on my desk so I can start getting samples ready already. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Miranda, real quick, we're getting some questions in the chat on when do they need to place the order by in order to get into the drawing? Yes, thank you. Great question. So the, let me first answer the survey. The survey drawing is going to be drawn on Monday. So you need to fill out the survey by like Monday at noon if you want to be entered into that one. Um, and the, the order has to be by the end of this month. Uh, we will draw the $25 gift card in the, right in the early part of November so that you can use it for your November order. Um, and hopefully that answered those two questions. Uh, and the, we're going to do the survey drawing here in this group. So don't leave the group because we will do the drawing here. And then we will do the drawing for the order gift card here as well. And if you do, yes, they will be emailed. The survey will. Um, if you do place an order, make sure you get with your pep pro so that you're using their link. Um, but I would love for you to come back to this group and comment and I placed an order, you know, let us know so that we can celebrate and, and um, give you high fives and then make sure that we have you on our list as um, uh, getting or being qualified to get in for that other gift card giveaway. Um, no, you do not need to be, you needed to be present for the first two, for the $25 and the 10 that we already gave away. But for the other two, for, for the survey and for the place in the order, you do not need to be present. We're just going to draw those names. Uh, and then the third one is we're going to do this again next month. Um, so if you enjoyed this, uh, I would love for you to, and you have not tried the salmon oil yet, would love for you to join us next month. Um, we do uh, have the qualification process like what we went through this time and your pet pro will have a link uh, of a form to fill out to make sure that you can submit your information um, and there will be a new group. So we will have a new group for every single product every single month. So there's going to be a new group as well. Um, so good. Excellent. So um, before we just and uh, one more thing. End, I was just going to say, if you had a question in the chat that didn't get answered, make sure you reach out and ask your pet pro, because I think there are a few that we probably missed as things were scrolling through. Um, but get with your pet pro and we'll make sure to get you the answers to your questions. And we actually did it in 45 minutes. I said I, I said till 45 minutes and I was worried that we were going to go over and we did it. So, yay. That's awesome. So thank you guys for joining us for this entire time and for um, going with the flow for our very first time doing this as a large team. Um, and uh, hope that you all really enjoyed it and that you're going to fill out the survey and place an order and join us again next month. And um, can't wait to see all the feedback that you're going to uh, provide to us. So have a good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you.